Greetings, wise ones, and welcome or welcome back to the 8th House Wisdom channel. I'm Melissa of 8th House Wisdom, author, psychotherapist, business astrologer, feminine energy and stellar planning expert. On this channel, we help you leverage the power and wisdom of the moon cycles through astrology and lunar wisdom formula applications for business with female entrepreneurs, executives, and professionals. Today, I'm here with a weekly moon forecast focused on the business astrology applications of Libra season and the use of intuitive tools for career and business that are aligned with the last quarter moon in Cancer. The last quarter moon represents a time to review, rest, and recover from the intensity of the past few weeks. We're now in the yin passive energy phase of this very powerful lunar month and cycle and in between two eclipses which is also a very potent and transitional phase in the rest of this video i will guide you with tools and steps to learn how to work with the graceful diplomatic qualities of libra season as well as the nurturing energy of the cancer archetype to employ more soft skills in your business and career life as we close out the final days of Q3 and prepare for the new moon eclipse in Libra. So if you'd like to learn more about this information, stay tuned for the rest of the video. And Make sure to give it a thumbs up so that it can be shared with other wise ones via the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more stellar business astrology applications and weekly moon forecast and lunar wisdom formulas to help you balance your yin and yang energy and keep you in your soft girl era in life and in business. So wise ones, let's get into this weekly moon forecast for the week of September 23rd and the lunar wisdom formula for the last quarter moon in Cancer. We have now arrived in Libra season, which is all about balance, diplomacy, and graceful leadership. While the moon has now shifted into its domicile or home of cancer, which brings deeply intuitive and nurturing focus to our life and business endeavors. Together, these cardinal influencing energies allow us to tap into our soft skills for leadership, which are crucial as we approach the potent endings and beginnings that occur during any eclipse season. The last quarter moon in Cancer offers a unique moment to reassess our emotional needs in business, to look back at what we've accomplished over the last few months of Q3, as well as make thoughtful decisions about the future. Libra the lover is a diplomat and the seventh house of astrology represents partnerships of all kind, relationship and business. And this is also the house related to how we do business. So today we'll be looking at how female entrepreneurs, business owners, and leaders can use the potent cardinal leadership energy of Libra season and tune into this yin energy that marks the final portion of the lunar month and lunar cycle to foster creativity and harmony in your business relationships, helping you to balance partnerships and integrate cancer's nurturing qualities to enhance internal reflection and collaboration. By working with these archetypal energies of Libra, the lover, and Cancer, the nurturer, you will have extremely potent energy 
at your fingertips to close out the third quarter of business, gaining emotional intelligence and navigating these transitions with grace. This is so important for the areas of your chart that are ruled by Libra and Cancer. So we'll be diving in to eight practical tips that will help you be able to navigate the strong currents and align with this potent energy and elevate your business and career practices using intuitive and feminine energy tools. So if you haven't already, make sure to go grab a copy of your birth chart and your business chart if you have one so that you can most easily and readily apply the information that comes next. To apply the information in this video, click the link below to get a free copy of your birth chart. Understand your planetary placements and get your planet positions at birth so you know where all the signs are in your chart. So let's get into the first of the eight tips by talking about emotional check-ins with partners and teams. During the last quarter moon in Cancer, it's important to take time to check in with your emotional state and that of any business partners, team members, or subordinates. Cancer's nurturing energy supports emotional intelligence while allowing you to assess if your professional relationships are balanced and harmonious. Ask yourself, what needs nurturing and what requires closure over the next week? Number two is create a balanced workspace environment. Libra season invites us to create harmony in our work environment. So assess whether your workspace feels balanced and supportive of your emotional well-being. The Cancer moon doubles down on this energy since the moon rules our body and our environments. So this could mean adjusting the flow of your communication, setting boundaries, simply decluttering to allow more mental space for creative work or putting more nurturing aesthetics into your environment. Whatever you do, you want to make sure that the place that you work helps to support your mood and energy. And if it doesn't, then it's time for a review. Number three is use diplomacy in business negotiations. As you close out these last days of Q3, you might encounter business negotiations or decisions that will require tact. Libra is known for its diplomatic energy, and that makes it a perfect time for approaching these situations with grace. When negotiating, aim for win-win outcomes by applying empathy and cooperation, especially in tricky conversations. Number four is nurture creative partnerships. Libra thrives on collaboration and Cancer brings a nurturing touch to relationships. We wanna use this energy and this time to strengthen any creative partnerships in our business because we are in the yin phase. And when I speak of creation, I mean the internal acts of creation, not the external masculine output. Whether we're talking about client relationships or working on a team project or acquiring a new contract, how you can best support yourself emotionally and professionally is the move right now. I know that our male counterparts don't have to think about their emotional state and can remain in a more logical frame when making decisions. But we would be rem I would be remiss if we don't speak about the need to manage your emotions in order to be logical and most effective as a woman. So lean into it. It's not unprofessional. It's part of feminine flow. Number five is to reflect on emotional business practices. 
This furthers our last tip, especially as we consider the last quarter moon in Cancer, because it encourages a deep reflection. So ask yourself how your emotions play a role in your business decisions. Are there patterns of emotional behavior that need to shift? Perhaps you're holding on to a way of operating that no longer serves you. This is the perfect time to release it under the yin phase and after the full moon. Tip number six is prioritize rest and rejuvenation. We are in the last quarter moon phase and this is a time for rest and relaxation. So expect to feel slower and be less productive. With the last quarter moon in the sign of Cancer, its nurturing energy reminds us that rest is essential for both success and fulfillment. During this passive lunar phase, allow yourself to step back from the hustle and focus on restoring your energy. A well-rested leader makes better, more thoughtful decisions, and this rest will prepare you for the upcoming active yang phase which will be punctuated by a solar eclipse number seven foster emotional intelligence in your leadership continuing with the emotional vibes that the cancer last quarter moon brings we really want to think about leading with emotional intelligence during this time if we take a page from the cancer archetype and zodiac signs book that will help us ensure that our leadership is nurturing and supportive on an emotional level we can do this by empathizing with our teams listening to their needs and creating a space where collaboration can thrive and last but not least is number eight prepare for new beginnings with eclipse season as we move towards the second and final eclipse for eclipse season, it's time to think about new beginnings. The last quarter moon is a perfect time to assess what has worked for you in Q3 and what needs to change. Be open to those shifts as the upcoming solar eclipse may bring new beginnings and new starts and really call on our need to stay flexible in our planning and intentions. Remember that eclipse energy can often signify sudden changes, so preparing yourself emotionally and professionally for this is essential. So, let's recap what we've just discussed in terms of the eight tips. Libra season is off to a great start and we are currently in the yin feminine energy cooperative portion not only of the lunar cycle but of Libra's term as the zodiac sign for the month these dynamics are encouraging us to work with the cooperative energy nurturing and emotionally focused points that come up during the Sun in Libra and the last quarter moon in Cancer. This is a time for reflection and rest and using your soft skills to nurture partnerships and collaborations. By checking in emotionally with yourself and your team, using diplomacy and negotiation and fostering creative relationships, you'll create an environment that is harmonious for success. And as the new moon solar eclipse approaches, we have to remember to stay open to the new beginnings and embrace the shifts that are still coming our way from our first full moon eclipse in Pisces. I want to really thank you for tuning in to today's weekly moon forecast and September's lunar wisdom formula for the last quarter moon in Cancer. 
the more we understand and track not only the number date on the calendar, but the astronomical events that are happening during these times, the better our feminine flow can be. I hope that this information supports you in maintaining or acquiring a feminine flow. And if you find the content helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the 8th House Wisdom channel for more insights on how to use astrology and the lunar wisdom formula in your business and career. Because like I always say, life and business do come with an instruction manual. It is written in the stars. Until next time, wise ones, stay balanced, stay nurtured, and keep flowing with the ebb of this cosmic cycle. Blessed be. Get into your feminine flow and create a role in the feminine flow masterclass beginning of September, where I will help you unlock the power of the moon to transform your business, leadership, and life. In this masterclass, you'll learn how to harness the natural rhythms of the lunar cycle to achieve more with less stress, make confident decisions, and create a balanced, fulfilling daily routine by integrating my lunar wisdom formula into your life. This will help you discover a holistic approach to success that empowers you to lead with clarity and purpose. Enroll before September 3rd to get $30 discount by enrolling early. The link is in the description below. Are you ready for a stellar breakthrough? In this 30 minute spree stellar breakthrough analysis, we'll identify the top five things that might be holding you back from aligning to your personal stellar success cycle the one thing that you need to do to move forward into ease and grace. Current energy vibes, the year ahead, your story, whatever you need to discuss related to the flow, timing, and planning in your life, we can start to work it out using astrology. Book your private session today by clicking the link below or just come to the website and see what service works for you. I'd love to be your stellar planning and lunar wisdom formula guide to living a soft life in business and beyond. Check out my new Etsy store called Stellar Planning Tools to get some of my newest products to support you in applying stellar planning, the lunar wisdom formula, lunar self-care, and to expand your manifesting practice. My new series, The Wise Woman's Mindset and Self-Care Guides, are being offered exclusively on Etsy. These guides were created to assist you in living with more ease, grace, and with a process to make lasting change in your life. Check them out. Link is in the description below. Discover the keys to your life's path and purpose by reading the stars with a free personal astrology report sample from 8th House Wisdom. From obstacles to opportunities, these reports teach you what you need to know to thrive. Try out any of these eight types of astrology reports two multi-package reports and one tarot reading in the 8th House Wisdom Astro Report store before you buy them. They're available for immediate download and specific to you, your life, and your unique birth information. Crystals are a fantastic tool to harmonize and ground your energy. Use my coupon code 8 Wisdom for 11% off 
high quality, ethically sourced crystals. Click the link in the description below to shop today. Get an in-depth look at the astrology of 2024 and more information about my stellar planning process with this free workshop, Stellar Planning for 2024. Think, speak, and grow an abundant new year. Click the link in the description below to watch now. Remember, wise ones, Life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sending you so much light and love. Take care.